Hello. Today let's prepare a spectacular trifle together. Let's start by preparing a sponge cake blending 4 egg whites at room temperature. With 160 grams of granulated sugar. When the egg whites are well whipped, add 4 yolks. To whip the eggs, it took a total of 6 minutes. Now we take the pulp and add vanilla bean to the whipped eggs. And grate a zest of organic lemon. Then mix briefly. Add 160 grams of flour, 00, zero sifted twice. And mix gently with a spatula or spoon. Pour the mixture into a 20 cm diameter mold. It needs to be previously greased and with the bottom lined with a disc of baking paper. Bake in a static oven preheated at 200 degrees centigrade for 10 minutes. And then lower the temperature to 175 degrees centigrade. Continuing to cook for another 15 minus 20 minutes. At the end of cooking, leave the pan in the mold for 10 minutes. And then turn it out completing the cooling. And storing it away from humidity until the following day placed in a plastic bag. The following day we continue by preparing a bath with 300 milliliters of water. And 100 grams of granulated sugar. Bring to a boil and divide the syrup into 4 parts of 100 milliliters. Then we will obtain 4 baths by adding 8 grams of vanilla sugar. 50 milliliters of alchemase, 50 milliliters of rum, and 50 milliliters of Cointreau. Mix briefly and let it cook. Let's move on to the preparation of a Zabaglione cream. Mix with a hand whisk 5 egg yolks and 80 grams of granulated sugar. Sift and add 10 grams of rice starch. Heat 170 milliliters of dry masala over medium heat and pour the mixture with the yolks into the hot masala. As soon as the cream comes to a boil the version in a container. We cover it with cling film and let it cool.
Then we prepare a custard with 6 egg yolks, 120 grams of sugar sem oiled, and the pulp of a vanilla bean. Mix with a hand whisk. And then sift and incorporate 40 grams of rice starch. Bring to a boil, on medium heat, 500 milliliters of fresh whole milk. and the vanilla bean engraved. When the milk arrives when boiling, turn off the heat. Remove the vanilla bean. And pour a drop of milk into the mixture. Mix well, turn the heat back on over low heat. Pour the mixture with the egg yolks and mix continuously. With the spatula until the cream comes to a boil. After remove from heat and pour about 60% of the cream into a container. Cover with cling film and let it cool. Pour 100 grams of dark chocolate into the remaining portion of cream. And mix well to mix the cream. Then bring this cream into a container. Cover with transparent film and letting it cool down. During the rest period for cooling, mix the creams from time to time so that they take on a more velvety consistency. When the baths have cooled completely and the creams are warm, we can proceed to assemble the trifle. Cut the sponge cake into four discs of the same thickness. Place a metal ring for cakes on the plate of the cake or as in ours case, a ring of a 20 cm diameter hinged mold. By inserting a strip of acetate along the edges. Then insert the first layer of sponge cake wet with the vanilla sauce. and distribute the vanilla flavored custard. Then arrange another layer of sponge cake. The rum bath and the chocolate custard. Insert the third layer with sponge cake. Soak the alcumase and the zabaglioni cream. Finally, on the last layer we will wet the sponge cake with Cointreau. And cover with a thin layer of excess cream. Let the trifle rest in the refrigerator until the following day. For the finishing, we whip at high speed 150 milliliters of fresh cream at 4 degrees centigrade with 70 milliliters of fresh whole milk. 
and 70 grams of Dolcan Eve preparation. You can also use fresh cream only. But to obtain an aesthetically perfect decoration, we have chosen to use a thickener. We bring the cream in a pastry bag. And with the F02 spout, we create these fantastic tufts to garnish the Zuppa Inglesi. We invite you to continue watching our videos and having a look at our playlist with the classics of Italian pastry or the video recipe of our orange chiffon cake. See the next video.